Hi, and welcome to this video to give an overview of the Market Watch stock trading game. First thing to do is if you go under announcements, you'll see that there is an announcement called Market Watch stock trading game. Here I'll explain that the this assignment is worth 40 points on your grade. You must make 10 trades a week from between May 26th and July 3rd. So that's six weeks, you must make 60 trades and you get you earn one point of extra credit to the student who has the highest overall return. Now, even if you lose all your money, you still make you can still earn all 40 points as long as you make 10 trades a week. So a trade is buying a stock. So you could buy a stock, then sell a stock, and that'd be two trades. You could buy 10, sh 10 shares of one stock and buy another 10 shares of that same stock. That's two trades. So it's not hard to get 10 trades a week. Now, the competition is listed here and this is the four step the four steps of instructions of how to sign up for the competition now it's a private competition so there will be a password remember the password is uppercase so you have to put in bus as uppercase lowercase will not work okay so let's go back up here if we click on the stock trading game it'll automatically bring you to the website if you haven't, if you don't have an account, you will have to register for an account first. It's free. Once you've registered, uh, you want to you want to click on Join Game, and then you'll be within the R game, which is called BUS 355 2020. So in here, we will be able to create a portfolio, um, see the rankings of how you're performing compared to other students, uh, and have a discussion. So let's first go over the overview tab. So this just gives me an idea of what my net worth is, my buying power, because we have margin, our short reserve, cash borrowed. This is our uh, the amount of margin we're using, and the portfolio allocation. And it shows the game goes from May 13th to July 3rd. So you can start early if you want, but it ends on July 3rd. And if you want to, you, if you have an idea of a company like McDonald's that you want to invest in, you start typing in the name of the company and it'll start listing the uh, companies with that name and you can click on trade. And here I can just move this slider to how many shares I want to buy. You could also just click up here and you can type in, maybe I want to get a hundred shares. And you could do, uh, it could be a day order or a good to cancel. I'll do a day order. And these are explained, these types of orders are explained in chapter three of the textbook as our market limit or stop orders are explained. So I'm going to put in a market order and then you can see it here. I have to shrink this a bit. Okay. And then once I'm done entering in, Gives me an idea of how much I'm spending, my commission, the shares, the price per share. And then I could say submit order. Go back to my portfolio. Um, so if I go to my portfolio, it will show me the shares in my portfolio. And then if I click on the shares, I can go ahead and trade again. And I can sell the shares. I want to, um, I can sell short or I can sell or I can buy. So there's three options to do. Again, these are all explained in the textbook and the lectures. Okay. So this is on the, on the, on any of these tabs, you have this, let's see. Um, I can also trade for Wendy's. Buy some shares. I can make this a good to cancel, which means the, sh the order will be open until it's full. The day order is only per day. Again, chapter three. And if I want to do a limit order, I want to say it's current. The current share price is twenty sixty seven, and I could put a limit saying I only want to buy it at twenty, and I can submit the order. So that will stay as an order until it's available to be traded. So you can see under my transactions, I can go to pending orders and I'll see that that's weighted. It's waiting, I could cancel it. It's waiting to be traded. And I can see the history of the orders I've already placed. And I can see the stocks I currently have in my portfolio. 
So that would be your portfolio tab. Also, in your overview tab, it's similar, but the, uh, the overview tab is going to have your portfolio to the side. And the portfolio tab will give you a little bit more information on your portfolio. Rankings will show how you're doing overall to everybody else in the course. Right now, there are no uh, rankings because I'm the only one signed up. And then discussion. So if you if you have want to leave a comment or create a discussion about and start talking about stocks uh, in this simulation, feel free. And other students could answer you or re reply to you. And so you could write something like, "Do you think um, do you think it would be smart to short this stock? Here is why I think it would be a good idea." So you write that out, and the other students will comment. I'm not going to comment on whether or not you should buy or sell a stock. These are all going to be up to you, but this is something you could work with as far as this discussion board. Um, and that's it. It's pretty simple to trade. And what you're trying to do here is, uh, of course, make some money. Now, your grade is not dependent on how much money you make or don't make. It's dependent on making 10 trades per week. So keep that in mind. So right now I have, I've made... If I go to my portfolio, I can see my history here. I see I have two trades. So if I was going to go and say sell some of my shares here, I'm going to sell one share. I'm going to make it a day order and a market order. And I'm going to submit the order. So when they and these are using real time, real live stock quotes. It might be 20 minutes delayed. So that once this, once that trade uh, executes right now, it's pending, I'll have three trades so far. So my transactions, number of transactions, the same as number of trades. And you can download this information too. Okay, so it's meant to be an active learning exercise to bring the course to life and have a little fun with it. So don't be upset if you lose money. That's that's better to lose fake money in this training competition than real money. So let's see how you do. Wish you the best of luck and it should be a fun experience. Thank you for watching this video.